Hey, my name is James Mulvaney. I'm an entrepreneur working within the radio industry. Now, if you're looking for places to submit your radio stations to and get more listeners into your station, radio directories are a great place to start. And I've got one of the most comprehensive lists available on the internet for you right now, over 30 different directories that you can submit your station to. That is coming right up. Hey, so if you're new to this channel, perhaps you've not seen me before. My name is James Volvaney. I'm an entrepreneur. I run several different software companies, including radio.co, podcast.co, and matchmaker.fm. And really for the past 15 years, I have worked with thousands of different radio stations all over the world and really focused on helping them drive traffic, get results, and make the best stations they possibly can. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'm always making videos like this one. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and ping, turn on the notifications, because I'm always making videos about radio. So without further ado, I wanted to dive in to radio directories. Firstly, let's look at the benefits. Why submit your station to 30 plus directories in the first place? Now, there's several benefits to this. Firstly, most of these directories have significant, some of them, traffic, people looking for radio stations. So it's always good that you've got your station in front of as many potential listeners as possible. Secondly, a lot of these stations uh, directories are actually connected to different services. So for example, when you switch on your smart TV and you go onto the radio list, quite often that will pull from one of these directory services. Likewise, many of these directories also have their own apps on the iOS and Android app stores. So you're automatically getting in front of more ears, more listeners, and gives you more of an opportunity for reach. And finally, by submitting your station to these directories, you're actually getting many, many, many backlinks to your website, which is really good for search engine optimization. The more links going to your site, the higher you will climb up those all important Google rankings. So by submitting to 30 plus directories, basically you're gonna get 30 links back to your site, win-win situation. So before we kick things off, I wanted to quickly talk about TuneIn. TuneIn is seen as like one of the main directories out there. Now, unfortunately, a couple of years ago, TuneIn decided to stop accepting new submissions. Why they did this, I don't know, but I do know that they were in trouble with some of the record labels, there was court cases and things. So I get the impression that perhaps they were accepting too many radio stations, some of which obviously were licensed, some of which were unlicensed. The record industry kind of got a bit funny with them about it, and so they decided to stop accepting submissions. Now, does this mean you, if you launch a new radio station and you're licensed, you have the re relevant documentation that you can't get submitted on TuneIn? Now, the qu answer to this question, honestly, is I don't know. It seems so hit and miss. We have clients who have successfully got listed on TuneIn by contacting them and proving the fact that they were you know, a legitimate licensed radio station, giving them the documentations, and they've been listed. We've had other clients who've been through that process and have had no luck whatsoever. If you want to get listed on TuneIn, the best advice I can give you is email them, be persistent. If you don't have a response, maybe straight away, you know, follow up a couple of weeks later um, and make sure that you're, you're being very clear that you've got the relevant licensing in place. If you can prove that if necessary um, and the fact that, you know, you're running a radio station for a long time, you know, you're not going to be disappearing after two months. Because I think, again, that was one of the issues TuneIn had was lots of these stations were kind of very fly by night. They'd spring up, they'd be around for a week or two and then they'd vanish. So if you can prove all of that to TuneIn and you can put your case forward, you might get listed. But I'm not promising anything. This is just my advice and this is from the experience we've had working with many, many different clients in the radio industry. But TuneIn is not the be all and end all. There are multiple other directories, some of which get significant volumes of traffic. So I wanted to cover off 34 of these today. So there's plenty of work for you to do in terms of getting listed on all of these. Of course, I'll put a link to a, an actual text-based list so you can click on the links because we're going to go over this in a slideshow. Some of these directories are amazing. Uh, a couple of my favorite highlights are like Streamer, um, Radio.net, and also Radio Garden. That's really cool. It's got like this 3D globe where you can kind of zoom in and tune into different radio stations all around the world. So let's head onto the computer and I'll talk you through 34 different radio directories that you can submit your station to. Streamer is a free online radio directory to discover, share, and listen to radio stations from all over the world. There are more than 70,000 radio stations like BBC Radio 1, Absolute Radio, and more that anyone can tune into online. Submit your station at the URL on the screen. Streamitter.com is a modern online radio directory listing thousands of radio stations from all around the world and every type of genre. 
StreamingThe.net is a great place for live media, for both radio and TV. What more could you want? RadioTower.com has got a list of thousands of radio stations. And Radio Tower allows you to add and rate internet radio stations with ease. Screamer Radio. Tune into thousands of live streaming radio stations from up and coming and new broadcasters from around the world. Submit your station by emailing the owner. His email address is on the screen now. Internet Radio. Small but mighty, the aptly named internet-radio.com boasts 22,000 radio stations, but each is split into their respective genres, so it's easy to discover new shows or get listeners to find your station. Filtermusic.net is a popular radio directory for electronic and dance radio stations that host thousands of streams and are updated daily. Radioguide.fm Listen to thousands of online radio stations broadcasting in a variety of ways from all over the world. You need to be signed up to add your radio station. LiveOnlineRadio.net allows you to listen to live radio stations from all around the world. Find popular and up-and-coming streams from a variety of broadcasters. LiveRadio.uk is a list of UK radio stations. And LiveRadio.ie is a list of radio stations in Ireland. Radio Garden. This is awesome, one of my personal favourites. Radio Garden is an interactive map which lists literally almost every single radio station in the world on a kind of 3D globe thing. Go and check it out. You could spend hours on this website discovering radio stations in your local area or afar. And you could submit your radio station to be listed on their globe as well. Radio Line has been around since 2012. Since then, more than 70,000 radio stations and podcasts have been listed on their directory. Thousands of listeners have tuned into their favourite station on the computer at work during a commute on a phone, tablet or at home on a smart TV. You can submit your station online. Radio List. Who doesn't love a good list? And it's simple but to the point. Deezer has over 7 million users and is quickly becoming one of the top podcast directories. Loads of users and stream and download their favourite podcasts every day from Deezer. So put yourself among them. Submit your station to Deezer by dropping them an email on following our guide. Blind Radio. Dot com. Not all websites are for the visually impaired, but that's where Blind Radio shines brightest. Founded in 2003, the Blind Friendly Radio Directory has been at the forefront of helping community access stations that they know and love, whilst discovering a few new ones. FrequenceRadio.com Frequence Radio has been growing since 2010. Today they have 945 and counting different radio stations from around the world. It's pretty easy to use, then select the country your radio station is broadcast from to start streaming. MyTuner. Owned by App Generation, the Portugal-founded radio directory has been running since 2010, consisting of over 50,000 radio stations and 1 million podcasts. The popular directory isn't short of diverse and varied content. Like most directories on this list, MyTuner Radio is available on the iOS and Android platforms, but it goes much further with stations accessible on wearable smartwatches like the Apple Watch and Android wearables, plus connected TVs like Apple TV, Samsung TV and much more, meaning it's a must-have directory for you to list your radio station on. StreamFinder. Radio directories are usually free. StreamFinder is, but offers a few extras at cost. Premium services include appearing newsletters, enhanced listings, and a few more perks. Pretty good if you're serious about promoting a radio station. Radio.net. Founded in Hamburg, Germany, Radio.net has been a good gateway for broadcasters looking to get discovered. On the flip side, stations listed on the site, apps, and wearable smart services are all intuitive and easy to access. Listen Online Radio. Most directories on this list are online only stations, but listenonlineradio.com is for FM, AM, DAB and satellite, amongst other online radio stations. TuneU. TuneU consists of more than 50,000 daily radio stations. And with an Android app, Chrome extension and Firefox extension, it's not one to miss out on. Philips Pioneer and Onkyo are just a few partners of VTuner. Besides from offering audio services to big brands, the radio directory also dabbles in showcasing stations like yours, so it's very important to list on VTuner if you want to be syndicated with smart devices such as Philips and Pioneer. Online Radio Box Self-reclaimed, the fastest growing online radio directory with 6 million listeners, Online Radio Box boasts an impressive amount of stations operating in 180 countries. Like most radio directories on this list, they're available to listeners on apps like Google Play, on the iPhone App Store, App Gallery and even Samsung Galaxy apps. Radio Dex. Just like other directories on this list, Radio Dex 
boasts an impressive number of global radio stations. And once yours is added, you'll even be featured on their front page. Radio, with two Ds, like Radio. Boasting an impressive 100,000 stations, Radio.net isn't short of a diverse collection of stations from across the globe. Radioforest.net, free internet radio directory that showcases new stations. What's not to love? MyRadio.co.ke, self-proclaimed largest directory of Kenyan radio stations. They have showcased the best sounds for Kenya and East Africa. But there's nothing to stop you from submitting your radio station and exposing yourself to a different market. LaRadio.fm In 2010, a group of Icelandic office workers got together to build a way to discover new and exciting radio stations. And LaRadio.fm was born. Check them out at LaRadio.fm.com My Radio Tuner Not sure what to listen to? My Radio Tuner randomly picks a station for you. Great if you're looking to discover new and exciting shows or get your station heard by a new audience. TrinidadRadioStations.net Originally started as a place for stations in Trinidad and Tobago, they've since expanded their roster of shows so anyone can get listed. Arable. Technically not a radio directory, but Arable is a middleman to get listed on loads of places like Deezer. Tuna with two R's, that's Tuna.co. Relatively new, with over a thousand radio stations, Tuna acts as a bridge between radio broadcasters and listeners. And finally, radioplug.co.uk, started in 2018 and only has a few hundred stations in their library, so there aren't as many stations for listeners to filter through before they can discover you. So there we go, 30 plus radio directories that you can submit your station to. If I've missed any out, by the way, I'd love to know your thoughts. Please put them in the comments below. If there's any directories, perhaps there's new ones that you've discovered or ones that I've missed out, let me know in the comments. And also let me know how you get on talking to TuneIn because as I say, lots of broadcasters want to get listed on TuneIn. Not everyone does, some people do, some people don't. So I'd like to know also your thoughts on that situation in the comments. As I mentioned earlier, I'm always making videos like this about online radio, broadcasting, podcasting, entrepreneurship, and all that great stuff. So if you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate a big thumbs up. And also I'd appreciate if you could subscribe to this channel so I can make sure that you get all of this relevant content and useful information when I release it. I'm always doing things like microphone reviews, content like this, advice on being a better radio presenter and how you can make your station awesome. So thanks very much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. What makes the difference between a successful radio station and a failed project? Well, after working with tens of thousands of broadcasters over the past 15 years and helping lots of people start their own radio stations, I see the same mistakes being made time and time again. So what I've done is I've put together a guide called the five step radio startup checklist which really covers everything from concepting your radio station to marketing it. And this guide, I believe, will make the difference between you having a successful venture with longevity and creating something that doesn't quite hit the mark. Go and grab your copy now for free at jamesm.com radio. Just enter your name, and your email address, and I'll send it over to you straight away. You're going to find it really useful. There's tons of information there which will help you with concepting and launching your brand and bringing it to market.